What's up, y'all? It's CJ Moto, and I'm back. Uh, Hurricane Laura just hit. It's beautiful out now. Post hurricane, I guess, is nice and pretty. It's nice and cool too. It cooled it down a little bit. But I got the Pro Taper Neon grips on, and I want to talk a little bit about this rear shock. Um, I haven't talked too much about it, but it's called the DNM burner, and it is really sweet. I really like it. At the, on the bottom, you have your rebound dampening. Okay, you have uh, 19 clicks down there. So you got a, I got it marked right here, 19R. And then on the top, you have your compression, and you got 12 clicks of compression, I believe. Let's see the other side. I think I marked it. So yeah, you got 12 clicks of compression, and if you're trying to do wheelies and stuff, if you turn it in all the way, or almost all the way, you never want to lock it out completely. But if you turn that in all the way, you'll be able to really pull them up easy. It'll really keep the rear end from squatting. The compression and the rebound dampening really work well in this shock. I'm very impressed with this shock. And if you got a big old fat girlfriend or something, get on Luna's site because they just released a 550 pound rear shock. This is a 450, so that'll be a stiffer rear shock. Yeah, it feels really good. I haven't been on the bike in a few days. 96 95 percent battery i've just been testing this thing out with no squat in the rear and uh yeah it feels really good you can get to that balance point you can get to that balance point easy with that thing cranked all the way into hard on the top and i've got my dnm i've got my dnm fork on the front i've got it pumped up to a 90 psi that feels really good and it holds the air really well we can go cruise around a little bit. It's a little wet out for sure. Sit in the middle of the seat and just find that balance point. Beautiful day though. Well, it turned into a beautiful day. down for sure. It's so nice to just get out on this thing. I love this bike. It's so nice and relaxing. These grips feel amazing. They're going to definitely get dirty, but they're super soft. Huh. Definitely collect more stuff off that front tire now. Having no fender on there. But there's not really a fender option, and I really like how it looks without the fender, actually. I like how it looks with it, too, but either way, it's nice. Ugh. See, I hope everyone got through that hurricane stuff okay. Scary stuff, for sure. These tires feel really good. I really love it. If you hear that slapping, that's my chain. It's loose when I let off and slap it around. I gotta tighten my chain up. There's actually one thing I meant to mention. If you get that, if you get that sprocket adapter, unless they've changed it a little bit, the center hole on it where it sits against your inner hub, it doesn't like, it's not like a press fit or anything. And it's a little bit, unless you get it just perfectly centered, your chain's going to have a spot that's tighter in it than the rest of the spots. So I'm really not a big fan of that. But they probably improved it. I'll probably shoot Eric a message and let him know. He could probably improve that. Make that fitment just a little bit tighter so that way it can't move around in there at all. Then the chain would be perfectly uh the perfect tension throughout the whole range of motion on it. But anyhow, just a little bit of stuff I wanted to cover with you guys. I'm gonna get going, uh, pretty uneventful evening. Just wanted to drop a video, show you guys these grips. They're nice, I uh, they're uh, Pro Taper Neon gel grips. Real, real, real soft. If you wanna know how to install them, check out that last video. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be out long tonight. Just wanted to show you guys how everything's looking. Talk a little bit about, like I said, don't discount that rear shock. And honestly, if you have the DNM front shock, 
great shock also. I just got these because they're sweet and they were, you know, like candy to me and I loved them. Uh, don't regret it at all. The DVO Emeralds have been amazing. But uh, yeah, DVO Emeralds, stock rear shock, and then the Dirt Boy, um, the Shinko 244 tires are really good. They're good in the rain. I'm testing them out in the rain right now. Uh, stock battery and controller because the kit that's coming out from Luna, uh, we're just waiting on it and see what comes out. I think it might be a uh, BAC 4000 kit, but that's yet to be seen for sure. But yeah, if you guys have a great day, I'm going to get out of here. I'll drop this video on y'all tonight. Please like, share, and subscribe. We got like 20 subscribers in the last day or so, so that's awesome. Thank you guys so much. CJ Moto out. Now you can actually take your hand and adjust the compression right down there. So I just uh, tightened it back up. Like I said, you got you got a good amount of turns there on compression or clicks rather. So beautiful, feels so cold out. Oh, I love it. I definitely need to take this thing to a shop or learn how to true this front wheel on my own. It definitely needs trued a little. I tightened up a bunch of spokes and uh, yeah, threw her out of true just a little, but not too bad. You can't tell unless you're doing like 40 or 30 or whatever. These things are awesome. Mango. Chile Modelo. Equally awesome. Chilada and la lemon. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, that's kind of what this is. That's what I'm looking at right there. Yep. Yeah. Have a good night. Yeah, dude, where do you ride this? Where Anywhere you, you want. Uh, it's called lunacycle.com if you check them out. Lunacycle, like L U N A. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's good to ride. Thank you, I appreciate it. I know, man. I, I sat here and just like looked at him like, I'm just going to wait for the person that's riding this thing. My Yoda's right there, and I just looked up and my truck's all skint. A Suron, huh? Yeah, it's called a Suron. That's like not just like two levels up. Yeah, I know, it's fun. You don't mind that? Everything. You can do whatever with it. I do a lot of road you stuff, but. Guy, yeah, but I'm waiting for a. I'm getting a, tr a hitch for my car. So that way I can take it because there's not that much stuff around here. Yeah, right down the street. It, it's like 30, they're like 3,600, but then I put like these forks are like. Luna Cycles, I ordered it. Yeah. But I mean, are you know, Creighton or Ian or you know, any of the bike guys? No, not really. I'm from the 80s, so I'm. I'm so am I, boy. Yeah. All right. See you later. I don't know. I'm really up in the road whether or not, or up in the air whether or not I, uh, What's up, man? I'm up in the air whether or not I want to get that 550-pound spring. Because, man, I like my 450. It's a Suron 450 spring. I don't know. I like the spring. Tell me what you think. You guys think I should get the 550 spring? Go ahead and order it. It's like $42. Go ahead and order that sucker and try it out. Tell you all what I think about it. I'm going to have to take it to some big jumps for that thing. Around here just cruising on the roads and stuff. You definitely don't need it. But I know I've said I'm out of here like 18 times. I'm starting to have better time now talking to y'all. Got a little bit of wind though. But anyhow. So 
folks have a good Thursday evening.